Gifty Acha was born into a family of farmers. She says her father was able to put herself and five other siblings through school with money from their family oil plantations. Five years ago, she cut down her oil palm farm to grow rubber. The farmers here, just like my father, were mainly into food crops. We grew oil palm, plantains, cassava, and the likes. Rubber is being hailed as the white gold in many parts of Western Ghana. It takes at least seven years from the point of planting to the time where farmers can make any money at all. But those who are going into it in this area tell me that just a year of proceeds from their work as rubber farmers is enough to cater for the seven years investment that they make. There were times we would even harvest the oil palm fruit and there would be a lot. We won't even get bias. So since I grew up, I have made a decision to stop farming food crops. There's more money in rubber. Oil palm is also good, but not like rubber. This area of the western region has vast fertile lands and have for years been a hub for the growth of oil palm and many other food crops. But now, things are changing. It didn't look exactly at the quantum of land that has been put under this. Professor Robert Edu, an agri economist at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, has spent years studying this trend, which he says is happening not only in the Western region. When all the food crop lands are used for cultivation of cash crops, at the end of the day, then the national production level will come down in terms of food crops. What it would mean is that we will have to import from neighboring countries and from other parts of the world so that we can have the food on the market for people to use the money that they have to go and acquire the food. And that has serious implications for the stability of the local currency. I have come to El Ziajo, a small community close to where Esther's farm is located. This community was built around the palm oil business and for years small factories like this relied heavily on palm fruit from nearby farms and employed hundreds of men and women. Now as more and more of these farms are cut down, the people who work here tell me that in the last 10 years alone, more than half of all the palm oil processing factories here have folded up. Because there's no oil palm fruit, we are unable to process even 10 containers in the whole week. As for Western region, all the oil palm trees are gone. Now, all we have is rubber. This shift from the growing of food crops to cash crops like rubber may look slow in happening, but its impact on the lives of many is already visible. Justice Beidou, Joy News, El Ziajo, in the Western Region.